Hatch, my GTA fans. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Volcar Warrener, which is currently the prize ride. So here's how you change the vehicle stance to lowered or default. And I'm going to go with lowered because that brings the most unpredictable kind of behavior from the car. So without further ado, I'm going to take you to the um, test track to be able to do a bit of a time trial. So here we are. Um, this is all being upgraded to the max, as in... Uh, to the braking, acceleration, etc, etc, so um, engine is all level a million. Uh, the first thing to, that I notice about the car is that um, it's tending to want to drift. Uh, I think part of that is uh, assisted by lowering the stance as well. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't have done that in order to get this time trial done. But I want to get it up on the, on the spreadsheet, you know what I mean? Get it on the, on the table. Um, you can win this as well as a prize ride for one day only. Tomorrow it all changes. Um, but what you need to do is um, win a time trial against a friend. Um, five times is all you have to do. So it's, it's quite a lot, really. Um, so from my experience of the Warrener, I'd say it's for me it's probably not worth it. But for you it might be. Um, so the current lap is not brilliant. We've just passed a minute. So we're struggling a bit around these corners, so we're going to do a few more upgrades um, to help it out, I think. So a minute and ten. Okay, we've, we're at the bottom of the test track pile here. Finally, the car has taken the BF Weevil's bottom spot. Okay, so let's do some upgrades. Um, there's a few decent upgrades, as you'd expect, with a Los Santos Tuners car. Um, I don't like the look of it overall. It looks like a, one of those Peugeot utes, you know, utility vehicles um, that are just quite terrible, really. But you can make it look better. That's the good news. So uh, black out this front grille. Um, we had a bit of a splitter later on. I'm not sure about the lights, so I'll leave that. And the exhaust, obviously, on the floor there. Very nice. I like that black hood. But I like the vented hoods better. It's a shame there's not a vented and black hood. That's what we could, that's what we really need. So I went with the vented. Nice. Internals, we got all sorts going on. This is all speeded up, of course. You can slow it down to check it out. But I've mainly gone for the more expensive stuff. Um, this car was free after all, so it cost me zero. Looks a lot better once you uh, crack on with the internals, actually, because you can see it from the outside as well. When you're flying in, driving in outside mode, third-person perspective. So I like it. I like some the customizations. I like the look of it. Um, what I get in the end, but I don't like the performance. Yeah, those are good liveries, but I want people to know that I won this car, so I'm gonna keep the same livery, as if they'd notice. Put a scoop on. Why not? It's looking better. I think the spoiler would help with the racing, but I'm going to leave it off because what I'm going to do next, uh, there's the suspension of course, is I'm going to do the tyres. There's a few um, bar options on the back, but I like the basic one. I think it's too busy, the others. There's the wheels, so we're going to put some muscle car wheels on. I'm going to colour them in. Let's colour them white, the same as the um, stripe. And custom tyres. Here we go, low grip tyres. So. We're going to try the test track again, once I've figured out what colour tyre smoke to wang on. Smash these back doors in, for sure. So let's go in. Uh, first off, it's even uh, worse than before. The wheels are spinning all over the place and it's been very difficult to control. So this is, I don't know if this is attempt 10 or 12 of trying to drive this car, but basically it drifts properly now. Um, you can get it to drift quite easily. So if I um, come into the corner, take a right-hand turn, then put the accelerator down on the way out, it'll drift. The only difficult bit is it, it, it will spin out at times, so you have to watch it. It's not twi it's not as twitchy as the other cars for sure, so it is better for drifting than the other cars that I've tested massively. Um, but I, that's not going to translate to great lap times, of course. Um, by lowering the stance and putting these low grip tyres on, you will get a bit of a speed boost in a straight line. That is, if you can stop it from bloody wheel spinning, which I couldn't do. I'm keyboard and mousing, of course. Uh, maybe my mate Jake will give me a uh, lend me one of his controllers so I could learn how to drive with uh, um, a gradation on the throttle rather than on-off. But yeah, 
I like this uh, test track ride because um, you could uh, you could really smash it out and get some good drifting action on. And that's I think what it's all about um, with this car. If you don't like drifting, then I probably wouldn't try and win it. I certainly wouldn't buy it. And um, that's for certain. But if you do do the time trials, you'll be leveling up. And you need to level up to unlock the um, the, the trade prices. And I've unlocked quite a few already. i um, got the Coleco trade price, for example. So it, it might help you to get your inefficiency at uh, doing this kind of business. And uh, winning this car in the first place can help you to build your reputation. So there we are. Some good drifting action, eh? And a good bit of nonsense chat. So one, 150, I think, was that what that was? Um, and that is as good as it's going to get compared to 115 without um, low grip tyres. So naturally, it's going to go slower. And that is exactly what occurred. So yeah, it's a fun little vehicle. I mean, see, see what you think. Um, do Google some other YouTubers to see see how they drift because I am a junior drifter. This is my first real attempt at drifting. And if it floats your boat, then this is probably the car to get for you. There is also the Drift Yosemite as well. I've not tried that yet with the uh, low grip tyres or on the test track. Um, but uh, it looks like this is better for the drifting for sure with those low grip tyres drift tires so yeah if this has been useful for you do like and subscribe because um, i'm going to be keeping piling on the future content so it's good to know what you like and do drop a comment in your thoughts on drifting but thank you very much for watching this and have a great day